Savannah, I'm about to go to the store. I need you to watch Brian and Kyrie. Samika, I am not watching your kids. They are not my responsibility. Damn. Not only do I have a toxic mother, but an abusive one too. One that can't aim. Savon, I've been told you you can leave my house whenever you're ready. And go where? Right! So the next time you decide to tell me what you're not going to do, think about where you would go if I kicked you out of my house. I already have plans. Well, they have been delayed. You will watch my children until I get back. Then you can proceed with your plans. Okay, Tamika. Ma, did I just hear you tell Savon he had to watch me and Kyrie? You did hear that, yes. Since when do I need a babysitter? Since your fast ass had a 23-year-old grown-ass man stop by my house looking for he you. He was 25. Your brother is watching you and I am done with this conversation. Can I at least have my phone back? For what? Savannah has a phone and will contact me if there's an emergency. What are we, five? No! But you are an out-of-control teenager who needs 24-hour supervision. <sighs> Mama is having Savon babysit us. Mama, you can't even control me. What makes you think Savon can't control me? I will beat his ass. Oh, second thought, Mama, leave them with me. I want to see something. Savon, don't you be in here putting your hands on my child. And Kyrie... I will turn you every way but loose. Test it if you want to. He acts like that because you don't put your hands on him enough. Well, come on, ho. Come put your hands on me. Come teach me a lesson. I don't know about a lesson, but I would definitely teach. Never mind. It is clear that I can't leave y'all's asses alone. I just wanted to go to the grocery store so that I can cook dinner. But you know what? Y'all's asses can go ahead and help yourselves to whatever's in the fridge or the pantry. Or y'all can starve. Savon, what you want to do? Mama is still here. Oh my God. Good morning. Mm, it's really not. Have you decided what school me and Kyrie are going to? You know what, Brian? It is a new year, and I am not dealing with the same nasty ass attitude you gave me last year. Find you a new and better one. Mama, you moved us away from all our family and friends, and you expect me to have a great attitude about that? I did that for us. You did that for you after finding out that Travis was really gay, Grandma Tammy went to jail, all your siblings testified for her, and you testified against her. Now everyone hates you. That has nothing to do with us. <laughs> Well, I am really sorry you feel that way. Everything I do is for my kids, whether you accept it or not. Look around you, Brian. Do you know how many kids wish they could live like you? Being stripped away from everything that I love? <laughs> they can have that. How many boys have I chased out of my house after you snuck them in? How many antibiotics have you taken because you think you're in love and don't want to use condoms? You are 17 years old living under my supervision, acting like a grown-ass man, and you are not. Yes, I stripped you away from everything that was bad for you and gave you a fresh start. And I do not apologize for it. Can I have my phone back? No, the fuck you cannot because you are not about to call my family and tell them where we're at. Mama, I'm not. I just want to be able to talk to my friends. I don't trust you. Savannah and Kyrie got into a fight yesterday after you left the kitchen. That's why you haven't seen them all day. Their faces are, excuse my language, but fucked up. I'll be your personal snitch again if you give me back my phone. You will also stop giving me a hard time about us moving here. Fine. I'm not convinced. I was saving this for a rainy day, but I need my phone. 
Savan gave his baby mama Kenya our location, and he plans on flying her here so that she would be forced to let her live with us. I just thought you should know. Find out everything you know and report back to me. Will do. Hey, Ma, um, can I use the car real quick? For what? Uh, just to meet up with a friend. Lies, we just moved here. You don't have any friends out here, Savon. Was there anything else you needed? You know what, I'm, I'm gonna just take a lift. <laughs> to where? Where are you going? You don't know anybody out here, Savon. Everything you need is inside this house. So where are you taking a lift to? Let me just go ahead and burst your little bubble. I heard that you've been trying to get your little bitch Erica here. And I'm assuming you need the car to go pick her up from the airport. Her name is Kenya and I don't know what she's talking about. Oh, you don't? Huh. Oh. I intercepted her flight that was supposed to land here in the next 30 minutes. I made sure the little bitch couldn't board the flight. Now she is stuck where you left her. You were going to bring that bitch in my home and not tell me, Savon? Ma, she is carrying your second grandchild. I don't give a fuck. You don't want Versace around, so Kenya won't be coming around either. Tired of dealing with your hoes. You know how many bitches I dealt with last year because of you? Do you know how many abortions I have paid for because of you? Ma, this is different. Me and Kenya are engaged. Oh, then go live with her. I can't. She stays with her parents. Interesting. They don't want you living with them, and I don't want her living with me. She is pregnant, mama. You keep saying that as if it's going to make a difference. She nor that baby are coming up in my house. You are more than welcome to go see her or find a way to live with her. But your shit is no longer coming in my house, Savon. I'm tired. Call me a monster. I don't care. You have put me through a lot last year. And I still let you stay with me at your big grown age. And yes, some of it I did allow. But this year, you won't be putting me through a damn thing. I will kick you out first. Oh, and another thing. If you put your hands on my child again, I will put mine on you. Kyrie swung first. I don't give a shit. You're the oldest and I hold you to a higher standard. Keep your hands off of him. Get out of my kitchen. Is this the charger you was crying about? You can have that shit. I'm gonna go buy myself another one. You can't. I'm gonna take that one too. And just like you got your ass beat over that one, you'll get your ass beat over the new one. For some odd reason, you and Savon both think that y'all have whooped my ass. And I'm still trying to find the whoop because it has not made it to my ass. How are you gonna keep my name out your mouth? Savon, Savon, Savon.
What happens next? I'll deal with you later. No, deal with me now. Brian, did you tell mama that Kenya was coming down here? Because the only person I told that to was you. It was either that or my phone, and I needed my phone. You would have did the same thing. And you would have squared up with me if I did. So get up and catch this fair one. It actually won't be a fair one because I, I want to get active with him too. Y'all are not about to jump me. Y'all both can line it up and take turns catching these hands. Curry, now. sit your bitch ass down. You over here crying about a charger. I got a real reason to fight. Come on, don't be telling me what to sit. Sit your bitch ass down. Bitch, watch your motherfucking bitch ass. Savon, how old are you? How old is Kyrie, mama? And where is he at? Why is he not in here with me? Train him to stay in a child's place because he's making grown man decisions and can't handle grown man ass whoopings. What started the fight? I was really after Brian, since he wants to be your little personal snitch and have you stop Kenya from coming, which you failed at miserably. First of all, Brian is not my little snitch. Second of all, How, what do you mean I failed? How did I fail? The bitch is not here. Excuse me while I go get the door. Who's at my door, Savon? Savon, do you know how much traffic I went through to get here? I know, baby, but I could have used the car. And then you had me and your unborn child ride over here in an Uber? What if we got kidnapped? Come on, baby. We will talk about this later. What's the issue? I'm six months pregnant with your grandchild and I'm hearing that you don't want anything to do with me? Oh, now you have nothing to say. Wow. Well, we're engaged. I'm having a baby, his baby, and this is really happening, whether you like it or not. I'm sorry that if me having your second grandchild is making you feel older than what you already are, but that has nothing to do with me. This baby is coming, and you will not separate me or my child from my fiance. Savon, please tell me why, after I said I did not want her here, she is now in my house. Savon, what are you doing? All that venting that you do? Give it to her. You give me anything other than what the fuck I asked you to give me. You're gonna do what? Put your hands on him in front of me? I'll call the cops. Savon, start talking. Savon, don't say a fucking word. Savon, put your mama in her place. Savon, if you attempt to put me anywhere, you will fail and I will successfully put you six feet under. Savon, what? Are you really the man I'm about to marry? You brought me all the way out here for what? Just send me back. Like, you brought me here to watch your mom degrade you? No. Then stand up to her. Tell her what is going to happen from this point on. He ain't gonna tell me a goddamn thing in my motherfucking house. You gonna learn real quick who I am. Tamika, I already know who you are. You are nothing but a maniac of a mother who abuses her sons mentally and sometimes physically. Uh, so far, what you been telling this bitch? Feeding her all these lies. What the hell is she talking about? Shut up, both of you. Ma. If you don't want me, my fiance, or my unborn daughter here, then we will leave and you will never see me or your granddaughter again, period. Kenya, this is my mama and you will not disrespect her in her own house. I did not bring you here for that. Okay, Savon. Okay. Good job, baby. Nah. My mom about to get active. I hope your mom took her meds today. Baby, I just I just forced you into her life. It's gonna take her some time to come around. Good morning, how are you both feeling?
Mom, are you okay? I'm great. What do you guys have going on today? We were going to go clothes shopping for the baby. If you'd like to come. <gasps> I'd love to come. Okay, mama, I'll drive. Sounds good, son. Oh, I forgot to ask. Can Versace and Louie come with us, Savon? Versace and Louis, as in Louis Vuitton? Girl, yeah, she can bring both handbags. Let me wear one. No, my love. I meant his baby mama, Versace, and his firstborn son, Louis. He doesn't have any children. I'm carrying his first child. Do you really have to start making up stuff now, Tamika? I know that's what he told you, my love. But if we're gonna be one big, blended, happy family, I think that that should include Versace. It does not include her, mama, and I wasn't ready to tell her. Wait, you really have a kid with someone else? Mm, talk about living a double life, Savon. Let me properly introduce the two of you. Sachi! Kenya, this is Versace, Savon's first love, and the mother of his firstborn. And by firstborn, she means our three-year-old son. Three, three, three. Oh, calm down, sis. Don't go into premature labor. I'm only just the ex that he's completely obsessed with. Versace, I don't care about you, nor am I obsessed with is you. Is that why you failed to tell Kim Wa about me? Her name is Kenya. Kim Wa. Did you know the only reason why you're pregnant and engaged right now is because I refuse to be married and a mother of two? So he went and found the easiest bitch to manipulate into giving him what he wants. Mama, what are you trying to do here? Savon, you seem very upset. I thought you would be excited. I mean, you did open up my home to your fiance. I thought that it would only be fair to open it up to Versace and your son. How could you not be excited about that? I mean, after all, this is my fucking house and I can do whatever I want. So when were you going to actually tell me, Savon? After I had the baby? After our wedding? After our daughter graduated college? Baby, I'm sorry. What's even more upsetting is that you're already hiding one child and I'm about to bring your second child into this world. Are you going to hide this one too? I mean, what type of father are you? A Debbie. If I needed any advice from the unwanted baby mama, I would have asked. After all, he kept you a secret too, and that is nothing to be proud of. Stay safe and pregnant, sis, because the last thing you need is for me to come over this counter. Was that a threat, you street rat? Street rat? That's a new one. Question, have you ever seen a tiger viciously attack its prey? No, I haven't. You haven't? Watch closely. Bitch. I said no violence. The fuck, she pregnant with my granddaughter. She called me a fucking street rat. And you know none of his bitches gonna disrespect me. I slap all his bitches. You touch her and I'll kill you. Ooh! Ooh! He love you. Look how overprotective he is over you. He used to be like that towards me too. This is too much. Kenya. I need a moment. I'm gonna book a hotel. You see, son? Going against mama never turns out good. You should know that by now. Okay, mama. 